Hello and welcome to this Posture Perfect session. My name is Helen and this is going to be an uplifting and invigorating session. So if you've been spending a lot of time at your desk or in your home office, these are some stretches, breathing techniques and things that you can just throw into your day to like refresh your body and refresh your mind as well. So for this session, I would definitely recommend just switching off your email or if you have your phone near you, just move it to one side or at least out of your vision just because it can be very distracting and also like quite tiring when we have like our emails popping up, our phone going off. So just clear the decks for yourself and allow yourself this next 30 minutes to really kind of refresh. Lovely. So I want you to find a comfortable seat. So maybe your feet are flat on the floor, maybe you're on the footrest. And I would also recommend that if you have a chair with wheels, put the brakes on. <laughs> so half of this session is going to be sat in our chair and then we're also going to do some standing stretches as well. But for now, just get comfy. Relax your hands somewhere naturally on your thighs or in your lap and then close your eyes. So we often find that the eyes get a little bit dry and a little bit tired throughout our day. There's a statistic that we blink between 30 and 50% less than we should when we're looking at a screen. So that's why our eyes get tired and dry. So wherever you are, just settle into your seat, really find your sitting bones. Imagine there's a puppet string on the crown of your head and it's pulling up towards the sky. So you find that gentle elongation through your spine. Take a smooth breath in through the nose. And a sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Lovely. Settling into your seat. Settling into this session today. Allowing yourself this opportunity, opportunity just to notice how you feel. So physically, if we're holding tension in the body anywhere... How are our energy levels doing? Maybe our mind is a little bit distracted and that's okay, it's all okay. The most important thing is that we are here and we are dedicating this next portion of our day to refresh ourselves, to fill up our own cup. Lovely, so you can keep the eyes closed or blink them open. We're gonna start with some simple neck rolls. So dropping one ear to one shoulder. See if you can tell this shoulder to relax and let go. Feel that stretch up the side of the neck, even like towards the jaw as well. Lovely, and then slowly rolling the chin down towards the chest. Take it nice and slow so you feel the stretch transfer into the back of the neck. And then taking the opposite ear to opposite shoulder. See if you can tell both shoulders to like be really heavy. Wonderful. And then continuing with these neck rolls. So nice and slow. Just winding out through any tension. You can continue the head all the way back if you wish. Just be mindful of your delicate neck joint. So you do whatever feels appropriate for your neck today. And if you find a little niggly spot, see if you can like work into it, breathe into it. This is also a good opportunity to just notice if you're holding anything in your teeth, like if you've got any like tension through your jaw, see if you can just soften through the facial muscles as well. Wonderful. And then rolling the chin down towards the chest. As you inhale, lift the head, reach the hands high overhead. From here, you're going to interlace your fingers and then you're going to push your palms in towards the ceiling. So if you can find length through your waist here, but just be mindful that we don't flare our ribs. So slightly engage your core, draw your navel towards your spine so we don't end up kind of arching. Navel in, keep pressing up, find space. Lovely, take a huge breath. And then as you exhale, take a little lean over to one side. Feel your rib cage really stretch here. So these intercostal muscles in between the ribs need a little bit of a stretch out sometimes because sometimes when we feel tired or like low energy, it can be because we're not breathing efficiently and getting in like the oxygen that we need. So we're gonna stretch out through the rib cage area so we can facilitate bigger, better breathing. 
Lovely. Inhale, come up through center and then take it over to the opposite side. Doesn't need to be a huge kind of lean, just enough for you to feel that stretch in your ribs and a little bit through the side of the waist as well. Lovely. Keep breathing and keep your jaw nice and relaxed. So if you find that you maybe concentrate too much, just soften through your face. Maybe even close your eyes. Lovely. Good. As you inhale, come up through the middle. And then from here, bring your hands behind. You're going to interlace your fingers behind you. You can use your backrest if you have one. Squeeze your palms together and lift through the chest, looking up. So you should feel the stretch on the front of the shoulder. You might feel it in towards your biceps a little bit as well. Lovely. Nice, big, deep breaths into that front body. Wonderful. Huge breath in. And as you exhale, bring your hands onto your knees and then bring your chin to your chest. Pull your belly in so you're rounding through the back now. So head drops down and breathe into the back of the lungs, like right in between your shoulder blades. Wonderful. As you inhale, lifting the head. Lovely. From here, let's hug one knee in towards the chest. You can use your seat as a little bit of support here. Hug it in, sit up nice and tall. Notice where you feel that stretch or a slight compression in the hip. Breathe in. And then as you exhale, you're going to take this ankle over your seated leg. Keep the foot flexed. Don't worry if your knee is really high. That's okay. And there's no pushing here. We're just going to rest the weight of our hands onto our thighs. And just imagine that, that, that this knee is going to like drop towards the floor. So don't worry if it's high, if you're feeling quite tight, that's okay. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, draw your navel in and twist to one side. So you can use your backrest as a little bit of support here and your foot or your thigh. Draw your belly in and keep your chest really proud. So you wanna like make your collarbones wider. Chin is parallel with the floor. So if you have a tendency to look down, it can pull on those neck muscles there. So keep the head stacked over the spine. Lovely, breathe in. Exhale through center, inhale to sit tall, and then over to the opposite side. Draw your navel in, so you really wanna use that core. And we're twisting through our middle spine and also getting into this hip. So we're uh, multitasking here. Good, as you inhale, come back through center. Release this leg down, give it a little shake if you need it. If you find those hip stretches quite a lot, just give it a little shake. And let's do the opposite side. So hugging that knee in, sit up nice and tall. Make sure you're even on both sitting bones so the tendency is to rock to one side. Breathe in. And then as you exhale, you're gonna cross this ankle over your other leg. Keep the foot slightly in flexion. That's gonna look after your knee. And then just rest your hands onto your thigh. So there's no pressing. It's just uh, the light weight of your hands. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in. As you exhale, twisting over. Lovely. Draw your navel in. And just go as far as feels comfortable. So you might find as we're moving into like our second round of twists, you can go a little bit further but we don't want to force anything. We want it to feel refreshing and uplifting and not like punishment at all. <laughs> Lovely, inhale through center and then over to the opposite side, just going as far as feels appropriate. So any of these movements or stretches, like make a little mental note or even like a physical note to just incorporate them into your day, just to take a moment to like refresh your body, refresh your mind, Maybe set a little reminder to like do some deep breathing. Lovely, good, breathing in. And as you exhale, come round, face forward, release this leg down, give them a little shake. Awesome, I'm just gonna demonstrate from the side for this one. So you're gonna take your feet nice and wide and your feet are flat on the floor. So you might need to like shimmy forwards in your seat. Lovely. From here, we're going to bring our elbows to our knees. 
and then lengthen your tailbone back. Should feel like an opening through the lower back. So imagine you're reaching your crown of the head forward. Keep drawing your navel to spine. And it should feel like a little decompression through that love, uh, lower back. So you're making space in that lower back area. Lovely. We're going to transform this into a little bit of a fold and a decompression for the spine. So you're going to bring your fingertips down to the floor. Let your head drop down. So the key is to let your head be super, super heavy because the weight of your head is going to help decompress your upper back and your neck. Wonderful. From here, you're going to shift the weight into your feet and then you're going to lift your sitting bones up off the chair. So we're in this forward fold. Now, Keep your knees really bent because it's not about your hamstrings just yet. We'll get to those. You want to keep your knees bent. Head is heavy. And just allow the spine to kind of hang. Imagine any tension from your spine just like dripping out the top of your head. Wonderful. Option two, keep your fingertips down for support or grab opposite elbows. And give your head a little nod. Yes. A little shake out. No. Hmm, you should feel a nice pull in the neck and in the upper back as your vertebrae begin to like decompress. Wonderful, this is so nice to throw into your day. Wonderful, let's bring the fingertips down to the mat, soften the knees and then slowly roll up through the spine. So imagine you're like zipping up a bodysuit, slowly, slowly coming all the way to standing. Perfect. Lovely. We're going to use our chair now for a few stretches. So make sure uh, if you've got wheels, the brakes are on the wheels. So you don't want to like skid away. You're going to step away from your chair about roughly your arm, arm's length away. So you can kind of judge in space. Hands onto the backrest. And then you're going to drop your chest and your head through your arms. So if you're tight through the back of the legs, bend the knees. Otherwise, see if you can sink your heart down towards the floor. Relax through your fingers. Notice if you're like holding on for dear life. Lovely, relaxing through the head. And you might feel that stretch like in towards the armpits, the chest. And we're just having a little bit of a tension in between the shoulder blades. Just to get a little bit of blood flow there. And this one can be really invigorating <laughs> for our bodies because we very, very rarely come into this shape when we're sat at our desk. Lovely. So just notice if you're maybe pushing too much, just let gravity do the most part here. So the, the head and the chest is just being pulled by gravity through the arms. Lovely, breathing in, breathing out. Good. As you inhale, slowly, slowly, come on up, walking yourself towards your chair. Going to go for the hamstrings now. So step, step one leg back and slightly turn out the toes. So it's about a foot, just over a foot in between the feet. So you want your feet on train tracks. So we're not like on a skinny tight rope. We want the hips pointing directly towards our chair. Lovely. Using your back rest here, you're going to keep the legs straight, sending the hips back. You can come onto your forearms like so, or really kind of lean into it, and you'll feel the stretch through the front leg predominantly. Lovely. So lengthening your tailbone back, keep the legs straight. The moment you bend the legs, you kind of start to lose the stretch. And see if you can really relax your upper body. So use your chair to your advantage, like you lean into it. Lovely. Imagine you're sending your breath all the way down the back of that leg to like the sole of your foot, refreshing as it goes. Lovely. Inhale, slowly come on up. Step your back foot forwards and let's do the opposite side. So stepping back, slightly turn out those toes. Both legs are straight, breathe in. And then as you exhale, begin to fold. So sending the tailbone back, using your backrest wherever you need to be. And you might find um, your sides are really different and that is totally normal. And it doesn't mean that you have to go harder on your less flexible side. Just pay attention to what your body needs. 
And if the sensation's quite strong for you today, that's okay. See if you can just move into it and then move away from it. You don't always need to be going like the hardest you possibly need to. You want all of these stretches and movements to feel nice. Um, yeah, this isn't a workout. It's just a nice way to uplift you. Particularly when we're all spending a lot of time in front of screens at the moment, sat down. This is just a like quick refresher. Lovely, good. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Stepping your back foot forward. Give your legs a shake if they need it after that. So you can use your chair as support here. You're going to bring one hand to your hip. You're going to start to find a little bit of mobility through the hip. So picking up one leg, doesn't matter what the foot is doing. And then we're going to make circles with this knee. So they can start off really small and then get bigger. You decide. So using your chair for support here. Keep your core engaged. So this is kind of warming up through the ball and socket joint of this hip. And it's really big and it has a lot of fluid in it. So we should get it moving throughout our day. And this will just help refresh your hips like really quickly. And by looking after our hips, we in turn look after our lower back as well. Lovely. We're going to find a little bit of a balance here. It's good for our concentration. So from here, we're going to bring the foot either to the inside of the ankle to the calf. We're going to avoid the knee. Maybe some of us can come up onto our thigh. So just above or below the knee, basically. You can keep a hold of your chair if balance is an issue for you today. Otherwise, let's come into our tree pose, a, a classic yoga pose. Hands together at heart center. Find something on the floor that you can like rest your eyes on or something on your wall. And see if you can just settle your eyes there. Breathe into all those little movements in your ankle. That's your body looking after you, keeping you upright. Practicing balance throughout the day is so good for focus. Let's take one more breath. Exhale, bringing the hands down, release that leg. Give your standing leg a shake if it needs. And let's do the opposite side. And don't worry if you were like wobbling that whole way. If you're practicing it, you're still practicing it. Nice. So picking up the opposite knee, begin to make some circles here. You might hear a few pops and clicks. You might find that it's actually quite hard. <laughs> if you don't practice it all that often, you might find oh, like, oh, it requires quite a bit of effort. Keep your core nice and engaged. So we don't want to be like moving all over the place. See if we can isolate the movement, warming up through that hip. You might find with your hips that you can't make perfect circles. And that will just be because all of our pelvises are different shapes and sizes. It's an irregular bone. So um, yeah, you might find that you do more of a square or more of a triangle. <laughs> And then let's go for that balance. So bringing the foot somewhere down that inner leg, just avoiding pressing into the knee. We don't want to do that. So press the foot into the thigh or the leg and press the leg back into the foot. Maybe we just test our balance like this or hands together at heart center. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Rest your eyes onto something that's not moving. Breathe into the wobbles and don't judge yourself or speak unkindly to yourself if you are wobbling. It is all a part of the practice. Some days balance becomes really easy and then other days it's like, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> Lovely. Take one more breath wherever you are. As you exhale, bring your hands down. Release. Give your standing leg a little bit of a shake. Perfect. We're going to do a little bit for our hip flexors here. So you're going to grab a hold of your chair and you're going to step one leg onto the chair like so. So grab support if you need. So we're stretching through this muscle here, our hip flexor. And this is the one that gets kind of squashed and shortened when we're sat. So if you think of when we're sat, this is kind of in a short squashed sense. We're going to stretch out that muscle. It's going to be a really nice refresher. Good. So bringing your foot onto the chair, keep the heel planted down. Now, for some of us already, you might be feeling that stretch there. 
For some of us, we might need to bend into this knee and go a little deeper. Now the key is to keep this leg straight and keep the heel down and sink your hips forward so you feel that stretch here. So use your chair for support and don't worry about like what the rest of your body looks like. See if you can focus your attention onto this muscle. Imagine like you're sending your breath down towards this muscle. Lovely, relaxing through your jaw. Notice if like when you come up against resistance in other areas of the body, the jaw and the face begin to like clamp down. Lovely, breathing in, breathing out. Nice, as you inhale, slowly, slowly release that foot down. Let's do the opposite side. So stepping the other leg on, assessing the situation. See if you can even like pop your fingers on the, front of the hip and feel where you're about to feel the stretch. Option to stay here if you're already feeling it or sinking the hips forwards, keeping this heel glued to the floor if you can. Shoulders nice and relaxed. On your exhales, maybe moving into a little bit more depth if that feel, feels appropriate today. Nice, steady, mindful breaths as well. So just having nice, big, slow breaths is really going to help your physical body as well. So sometimes more so than the actual physical postures, just breathing more efficiently can like re-energize every cell in the body. Really nice. Let's take one more breath on this side. And as you exhale, release, give your legs a bit of a shake and we're gonna come back and take a little seat here. Let's do a little bit for our shoulders. So making sure your feet are planted on the footrest or on the floor. Inhale, reach your hands up and overhead. Interlace your fingers. You're gonna bring them to the back of the head and then relax the weight of the head into the hands. Elbows just drop to the sides here. So really like allow your head to be heavy so you can relax through your neck. Got a nice opening in the chest. Wonderful. As you inhale, you're gonna bring your head to face directly forward. Then bring your hand like an inch or like a centimeter or two away from your head so your hands aren't rested into your, your head isn't rested into your hands anymore. And then you're gonna make some circles here. So it might feel kind of awkward and it might feel kind of bumpy or clicky, but this is a really nice way just to get those shoulder blades moving. Maybe the circles start to get bigger, and maybe it takes all of your concentration and that's okay. <laughs> Lovely, and then circle the opposite way. See if you can keep your head nice and proud so we're not looking down here, we wanna keep the chin parallel with the floor. Shoulders will feel nice and warm after this. Lovely, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, releasing the hands down, just give those shoulders a bit of a roll out there. Nice, we're gonna do a little bit for our wrists and a little bit for our eyes. So you're gonna bring the wrists together, fan out your fingers, and I want you to rest your eyes onto a point on your wrist. So give your eyes a bit of a break here. So we're also like distracted looking from one thing to the next thing, to one screen, <laughs> to another screen. Rest your eyes onto one point on your wrist. And then we're just gonna roll out our wrists here. So keeping the wrists in contact at all times, we're just gonna circle our hands. You can do it as slow or as fast as you want. Keep spreading your fingers wide. And this is nice just to refresh the wrists, if you hold any tension through your hands. And then we also have that added benefit of just resting the eyes. You can even close your eyes if you want, if you prefer. Nice, and then circle the opposite way. It might feel kind of awkward to do it the non-habitual way. And just notice all those intricate little movements through the joints of your wrists. 
your hands, your fingers. Just begin to quiet the eyes, quiet the mind. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, resting your hands down onto your thighs. We're gonna finish with a breathing technique. It's very, very simple, but hugely effective. So I definitely recommend this one whenever you remember to do it. We're gonna breathe in for a count of four through the nose, and then we're gonna breathe out for a count of six. So in for four, out for six. This is really gonna calm your nervous system, calm your mind, and it's just a really nice way to recenter during the day. So I invite you to close your eyes, and we're just gonna take a big breath in and clear everything out before we get into the practice. So breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth, empty, empty, empty. And then breathing in for one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and six. Allow your breathing just to come back to its natural pace. this opportunity just to observe how you feel now. Maybe there's been a slight shift from the beginning of the session. And when you're ready, blinking your eyes open. Thank you so, so much for sharing this practice with me today. I really, really hope you enjoyed it and feel nice and refreshed. My name is Helen and thank you so much for joining me for this Posture Perfect session.